a little tutorial for you on how to properly clean your paintbrushes after you've been using a solvent. Hey friends, it's Kaylee Bird. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to have you as always. Today I have a short tutorial for you all about properly cleaning your paintbrushes after you use a solvent. Um, I am working on another video about environmentally friendly oil painting, so that'll be a little bit different, but if you're still like me and use solvent at times, then you're gonna wanna figure out how to do it safely and cleanly. And if I do say so myself, this vlog is right in time because I am between two studios right now. I have two half studios as I am moving and my life is chaos, so in order to spare you having to see either of those spaces, I am filming this all at the kitchen sink at my old place before I jump over to my new place. So I hope you enjoyed. If you're, if you're curious about uh, my move, take a look in the links below. I've got my vlogs down there. And if you learn a little something today, please pop on that subscribe button. It goes a long way for me to help grow my channel. Thanks guys, Mwah. enjoy. So to begin cleaning your brushes after you have used a solvent, now I personally use odorless terpenoid. I have just started getting into experimenting with cleaning with walnut oil and I am figuring it out still. So soon enough I will have a video for you all about um, environmental ways of oil painting. But for today we're going to deal with when we use turpentine, terpenoid, odorless terpenoids. I don't have any particular brand that I'm advocating for. This is just what happened to be at my local paint store. Although, pro tip, I have found the same thing for like a quarter of the price at my local um, hardware store. We have City Mill out here in Hawaii. I always, always vote for buy local, but um, that works really well for cleaning your brushes. So my brush cleaner is this little jar I got from the thrift store, and then I just created this little metal wire to go inside. You can buy these things at the art store for like 20 bucks. I made my own, I think it was about $3. So that's what I use for cleaning my brushes at my easel. However, if I have a lot of paint on one brush, I don't want to just dip it straight in there because it will start to muddy this. And I should do a whole video just about making your turpentine last forever. Like this little jar has lasted me over two years now and there's still some in there because you can just kind of keep reusing, keep reusing. But anyways, so oh, you can see I was cleaning earlier. So um, I always take off the old paint before dipping it in there. Just kind of wipe it off as best you can. Get it pretty clean and then put it in the turpentine. Rub it around, rub it on those uh, that wire because that's what's really going to get your brush clean. It kind of works it through until it basically comes off. Pretty clear, right? Sometimes your brushes will get a bit of a stain on it and, you know, say lovey. So, first things first, now that I have those clean. Oh, if you want a more exact video about how to clean up your entire workspace, check in the links below because I actually do have a video I made not too long ago about cleaning up your whole easel and workspace. So anyways, um, before I will get started actually washing these, I'm going to put a glove on the hand that I'm going to use to wash because you just don't want this stuff grinding into your skin. It's just not a great idea. Also, I was gonna say, you know me, I like using as least waste as possible, so I opted to get some dish gloves that I just reuse. I actually, this is a new pair, but um, I just reuse and reuse because otherwise I've seen other videos where people use, you know, the nitrile gloves and they just throw them away every time. And I'm like, mm, that's plastic, you don't need to throw it away every single time. So that's just me, you know me. So anyways, cleaning your brushes, once you've gotten it in the solvent, is very easy. You wanna turn on some kind of warm water, it doesn't need to be, cascading down, but you just kind of want to make sure it's nice warm water. And then you're just going to use any kind of simple soap, really. You can get fancy soaps from the art store, and those are great, but they're expensive. So I have actually a tiny little jar of some really fancy soap from the art store that I only use on brushes that are old or if I was lazy and didn't wash them for a few days or if they got some something really stuck up in the gunk because that that's expensive and you don't need to be using that stuff on a day-to-day -day basis. 
really just any kind of bar soap, you know. I try to go for something that maybe doesn't have a lot of perfumes or fragrances or seems relatively natural, you know, like Dove or something like that. Um, but it doesn't have to be any fancy name brand, really any kind of soap will do. So you want to make sure that everything is nice and wet and you just kind of rub it around in circles a few times, gather up some soap and then just start rubbing in gentle circles around your hand. gentle circles until the water comes out clean. I oftentimes will sort of press it down, press it down to my palm a little bit, but that's it. Maybe even dab a second, a second layer, do a little bit more just to be sure. And that is all it takes. And if you do it after every time you use your brushes, your brushes will last for years and years and years. You can also use dish soap. Now I happen to use stuff that is like a plainer, more non-toxic. I think this is better for life in general, but same difference, just a tiny little dab on there. Nice warm water all around. And you can see that paint starting to come out already. Alrighty folks, thanks for being here. If you have any other quick and easy ways to clean your paintbrushes, by all means, I love to hear them. Leave them in the comments for me. I hope you learned a little something and I hope to see you soon. Mwah. Thanks guys.